We have noticed a lot of questions on our social media feeds about traveling to and around Ireland. In this video, we are going to cover some of the questions we have been asked, particularly for people who have never visited Ireland before. Keep watching. We have loads of tips right to the end. First of all, let's start at traveling to Ireland from international destinations. By air, traveling to Dublin is the biggest destination, although Belfast International is increasing numbers. Shannon in County Clare is also a good airport for many particularly long haul from the likes of Chicago from the United States who are visiting the West and Southwest. There are smaller airports like Cork and Knock Ireland West. So it's worth investigating their schedules as well, especially from Europe. If you like what we do, please subscribe. Thank you. Can we hire a car at the airport? Yes. Bear in mind we have tolls on our roads where you need change in euros, usually two to three euros a time. If you are in Northern Ireland, there are no toll roads. Can we be picked up at the airport and taken to our destination? Yes, there are taxis and bus companies that do that. Schedule tours or travel individually. That really depends on how adventurous you are. There are tour companies like Paddy Wagon and Wild Rover Tours and others. If you don't mind keeping to a schedule and don't want to do it yourself, it's an ideal way. To seek it's for tourist attractions in advance. For example, the Rock of Cashel or Blarney Castle. No, just pay a ticket on entry. But if you are visiting the Book of Kells in Dublin, you should book in advance as it can be full. There are a few that need booked in advance, but not many. Their website will be the place to look. Should we do guided tours of places or do our own thing? Guided tours are great for hearing the history of a place, but do keep you to a schedule. Very often you have the choice where you have an interactive or printed booklet showing you the attraction and you go at your own pace. It's a matter of choice. There are very good walking tours of Dublin itself, which are very informative on the history and life of the city, particularly around the 1916 uprising and the subsequent events leading to independence. Does the Titanic exhibition in Belfast have tour guides? Yes, they have. But as the exhibition is on a number of floors, if you follow the route, there are lots of video and audio exhibits that lead you through it. Where is the best place to see Ireland of old? There are a number, but the best place in Dublin would be the Famine Exhibition in the GHQ building on the North Keys, Dublin. It traces emigration through the years. Also, the National Museum of Ireland at Collins Barracks on the Lewis Line, close to Houston Station, is worth seeing. The Ulster Transport Museum and Folk Park Cultural on the Bangor Road out of Belfast is another. Also, the Ulster American Folk Park Omagh County Tyrone is worth seeing. I want to visit the Giant's Causeway. Do I need to book? Only if you have a car. Be prepared for a walk of 15 minutes from the visitor center to the site. Drones are not permitted. Finally, what is the temperature in October? Do I need lots of wet gear and warm clothes? October temperatures daytime can vary between 7 to 14 centigrade. Add layers and if it's warmer, peel off. That's it for this video. Any questions you would like answered? please leave them below. If we have helped you, please subscribe and links as always will be below in the description. If you have watched this far, thank you so much. We hope to see you in the next one.